In this video, we will learn what synchronous and asynchronous code means and how they differ from each other. By the end of this video, you will have a clear idea of how to write and manage synchronous and asynchronous code in JavaScript. So let's get started. Now first, we are going to learn what is synchronous JavaScript. So synchronous JavaScript means that the code is executed in a sequential order one line at a time. This means that each statement has to wait for the previous one to finish before it can start. For example, let's look at this code example. And as you can see, here it prints hello and then world into our console and there is no delay or interruption between these two statement. This is an example of synchronous code execution. Now synchronous code is easy to read and understand as it follows a logical flow. However, it also has some drawbacks. For example, what if one of the statement takes a long time to finish such as a network request or a complex calculation. This will block the execution of the rest of the code until the statement is completed. So this can result in a poor user experience as the web page or the application will appear to be frozen or unresponsive. For example, here between these two statements, if we write our alert function to alert, please wait. And if we hit save, you can see in our console, we have hello, which means this line of code is executed. And then this line is executed. And as you can see in our console, we don't have this world string. And it is because this alert function is blocking the execution of this third statement. Now if I hit this OK button, you can see now we have world in our console. So from this example, you can understand that in synchronous JavaScript, our code is executed line by line. Like first JavaScript executes this line of code, then the second line and then this third line. So because this was a long running task, that is why we don't saw this world in our console. And then after clicking that OK button, then we saw this world in our console. So this is an example of how synchronous code can cause performance issues as the user will not be able to interact with the web page or the application until they dismiss the pop-up. This can be frustrating and annoying for the user. Now let's see what is asynchronous JavaScript. Now asynchronous JavaScript means that the code is executed in a non-blocking manner, meaning that some statements can be executed without waiting for the previous ones to finish. This allows the code to perform multiple tasks at the same time without blocking the main thread of execution. For example, instead of this alert function, if we use set timeout and here as you know, we are going to provide two parameters. First one is the callback function and the second one is time in milliseconds like 3000 which means 3 seconds now for our callback function I am using an arrow function and in here we are going to log a string after 3 seconds that hello world is printed 3 seconds ago like this now if I hit save you can see we have hello world and after passing 3 seconds now we have our message that hello world is printed 
3 seconds ago so as you can see this set timeout function is an example of a synchronous function which takes a callback function and a delay time as arguments and here this callback function is executed after the delay time has passed but the code not waited for it instead it moved on to the next statement which is this world and after passing 3 seconds this callback function printed so this is an example of asynchronous code execution so basically here we don't saw any blocking experience while the execution of this code first we saw this line was executed then this and after passing 3 seconds this set timeout function was executed now i hope you can understand the difference between synchronous and asynchronous javascript now asynchronous code is useful for handling tasks that take a long time to complete such as network request file operations or timers asynchronous code can improve the performance and responsiveness of the web page or the application as it can do other things while waiting for the long running tasks to finish however asynchronous code can also be more difficult to read and understand as it does not follow a linear flow it can also introduce some challenges such as handling errors managing callbacks or coordinating multiple asynchronous tasks or coordinating multiple asynchronous tasks so in summary synchronous and asynchronous code are two ways of executing code in javascript synchronous code means that the code is executed in a sequential order one line at a time and asynchronous code means that the code is executed in a non blocking manner meaning that some statements can be executed without waiting for the previous ones to finish and that is it for today's video i hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to join this web development journey with us if you have any questions leave them in the comments below keep coding keep creating and i will see you in the next video